Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. I want to talk about um, the NFL once again. And I want to talk about, you know, uh, the situation with Matt Patricia and Bill O'Brien. And basically their blatant disrespect of their players. You know, at the end of the day, I understand that a coach is not supposed to be your friend. He your coach. If he, he happened to be your friend, then that's understandable. But at the same time, this is a dude that's coaching, especially in the NFL, men that are old enough to drink. Old enough to go to the service, old enough to do anything that a person over 21 can do and it just appears to me with the nfl especially with the coaches they seem to have this i'm above you you're under me and the funny part about it is in most cases the player make more money than the coach unless you john gruden but uh nevertheless i'm looking at two situations where i feel like the nfl players were blatantly disrespected by their coaches you know, um, you had the situation with the cornerback with, you know, the, the Detroit Lions. And basically the coach made where he basically put up a picture, you know, of himself and somebody else and, and making a comparison and all that type of stuff. Basically, the coach told him to stop, you know, eat, you know, slobbing somebody's knob. Then you had a situation with. You know, Bill O'Brien, where he told <laughs> that wide receiver, basically, uh, he has too many baby mamas for his taste. And, and you know, the last time he had somebody in a meeting, uh, it was Aaron Hernandez. And I don't know why was he prefacing him to Aaron Hernandez, a dude that basically was linked to multiple murders. You know. But he got convicted for one, if I'm not mistaken. But he was linked to at least four. Four murders and a couple of shootings. But he ended up offing himself, so they say, in jail. But nevertheless, this dude never got in trouble with the law. He never had any outside incidents. And he said, and you know... At the end of the day, he got a little too personal. Why is he worried about uh, who he procreates with? That's none of his damn business. You have to draw a line in the sand where you have a, a coach-player relationship and then where the coach oversteps his boundary line. Who who he procreates with is none of the coach's fucking business. You know, and I understand about competition and all that type of shit. And, you know, you you kind of don't want to be buddies with the people you play against. But at the end of the day, I understand where these players coming from. They, they like, hey, man, at the end of the day, we play against each other, but we don't have to, you know, hate each other. So I, I, I look at that from a lot of different perspectives. So it's just like, OK, you know, um, you know, whatever it's whatever. However, your opinion is on that. That's your opinion. But as far as these coaches talking to these dudes in that type of manner, um, the funny part about it is now if this dude was to say something about the coach and say something to that uh, manner of where it deemed disrespectful, then you got the media attacking this dude and saying, oh, he need to respect his coach and all that kind of shit. Because it's always been this thing where it's, Basically, because I'm going to go there because, you know, me, I say whatever the fuck I want to say. I don't be worried about people having issues with some of the shit I say. Like I said before, if you have a problem with me talking about race issues or you say I'm race baiting or why I'm making stuff about race. Hey, man, I'm going to just tell you straight up. You get the fuck off my channel and you don't have to bring your ass back. And I don't care what color you is. You don't like what I'm saying? Keep your motherfucking ass off my channel. I'm going to continue to talk about race issues because race is a very big issue, especially in the States. I guarantee you, if this was 
a white player and probably a black coach and that black coach disrespected that white player the way these black players are being disrespected by their white coaches i guarantee you you would hear people saying well you know you gotta you you can't do people like that because this dude is still a man but there's always this thing where white guys are supposedly superior as far as intelligence when it comes to black men and that is not the case and that pisses me off first of all bill o'brien would have got gorilla checked but this is just another telltale sign that these dudes they don't see these guys as men because other other otherwise he wouldn't say that type of shit to him and it's appalling cuz like i said if some some coach came to me and said that and i'm gonna be honest with you i don't care what color he was to be honest with you if some coach said, hey, man, quit, you know, slobbing on dudes. Nah, Bobby, like, what you say? But it, like I said, it's always this thing where, you know, if a black dude, you know, if a black dude expresses himself or he, you know, he basically talks about issues that he had with management or the coach, usually they side with the white counterpart, which is the coach. Or you get the media saying that he's a cancer he's disruptive he's a bad dude you know that's when they start running the smear campaign they do that on a regular basis you know they do it on a regular basis because if they have a latrell spreewell pj carlismo situation in, in the NFL locker room, I feel bad for that coach because more than likely that coach ain't going to be able to do nothing with no 300, 120-pound lineman or 200-pound, foot three wide receiver. It's probably going to be a wrap. But, of course, they're going to put it all on the black athlete because you're not supposed to respond or talk to a white coach that way. It's okay for them to disrespect you, but... You can't disrespect them uh, back. And that's p pretty much what goes on on YouTube. You get a lot of these white guys that come on these black channels telling you what type of content to put out and telling you, you know, that you need to quit talking about race because it offends them like you give a fuck what they think. But this is an ongoing thing where these black athletes are not respected by their coaches. And sometimes I think to a certain degree, I think it's a little bit of jealousy because I think a lot of these coaches figure, well, hey, I'm the one that's coaching and, man and managing these guys. I should be making just as much or more money as them. A lot of times they have a resentment. If it's this resentment, y'all, that people have towards black men that make a lot of money, that are well off. They like, why is this dude making this type of money? Now, at the end of the day, these guys are going to these arenas and baseball and football stadiums to see him play. But at the same time, don't think it's a it's not a, you know, a, a little bit of envy and contempt. Because these dudes are one black making a lot of money and then possibly you always had that guy that feel like, hey, I didn't get my chance because this happened to me. That happened to me. So you always have that that demographic. But like I said, it's a fine line between, you know, uh, a relationship between a coach and a player. But like I said, when you get too personal and you get too disrespectful, then it got to be like, hey. And then, like I said before, there is this notion, especially in particularly with black men, that we are supposed to take whatever type of verbal and to a certain extent physical abuse from just random people because we're not supposed to say anything everybody is above us and we've been conditioned hey hey ignore them turn out the cheek you know what i'm saying if somebody try to talk talk shit to you and disrespect you if you say something back you're being sensitive you're being too emotional but yet if you say something about somebody and they say hey you're wrong and you get criticized then you don't hear that same fake talking points those same that's that fake white language 
you know, that's designed to basically muzzle us. It's okay for anybody to insult us, any and everybody to insult us. But then if we say something, then we're being emotional, we're being sensitive, we're crying and all that type of shit. But it don't work on me. And black people should ignore that bullshit. We have just as much right to defend ourselves or disrespect somebody back when they disrespect us. Why are we the only ones that have to turn out the cheek? Why are we the only ones that's labeled as being as, as crying and whining and all that type of shit? So it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, um, there are lines that you just shouldn't cross. You are always due just common decency and common respect by your counterpart. They always need to be a respect between, you know, mutual respect between a player and a coach. Okay. Cause at the end of the day, most of these dudes, especially in the NFL, since you have to be at least 21 years old to play in the NFL or at least three years removed from high, high school to play in the NFL. So, you're still pretty much dealing with a grown man. And you need to show that person his his respect at all at, at all times. If not, then whatever happens, happens. But it's a shame that a lot of times these coaches don't get called out and called to the carpet for blatantly disrespecting a player. Because at the end of the day, Coaches, once again, they can say stuff and do stuff that's out of pocket just as well. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.